So now, my next job is to get this room painted. This room needed crap tons of work. Well, I guess crap tons of prep work by me way of uh, <coughs> retexturing spots and whatnot. And uh, right now, I'm going to do the last step of prep work that I'm willing to do or want to spend time doing. And uh, that is sanding all of the patchwork of resurfacing these walls. All right, today's the day where I finally start the process of saying goodbye to the pink bedroom or the pink room. Um, I'm going to prime the walls um, now. Uh, last thing I was doing was painting the ceiling and that was good, being that I used some of my spare paint, spare salmon paint, salmon ceiling paint. Um, I am out of ceiling paint now, so I do need to pick up another, uh, I don't know, bit of it. I don't know if I'm probably just going to get a gallon or something like that. I don't need a whole, you know, whatever size that was um, to do some touch-up spots and uh, paint the other closet ceiling. And uh, I need to paint um, one small section of ceiling in the back doorway entryway thing. Um, but anyways, like I said, uh, I finally get to say, you know, say goodbye to the uh, pink room, pink bedroom. Um, I think I'm probably going to do a little bit of a seance or a prayer or something to say goodbye to the pink gods. I don't know. It's time to cry. It's happening! It's happening! The weaving! The nursing! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. The pink room is no more. Um, it is now a shade of gray. Um, along with the closet is also a shade of gray and the ceiling is a shade of white. Um, if you notice, I also have the door removed. Um, we could take a block over in the uh, other bedroom. The door is also removed here. However, however, there's an electrical wire there that needs to be uh, not there. So I haven't painted this closet because it's going to need a little bit of work to get that electrical wire out of there. As you can see, I'm also working on my uh, microwave cabinet. Um, I have made my decision on the placement of the plug I'm adding. Um, I've just finished drilling the holes and I'm about to uh, cut that out. And continue. So in the meantime, while I was painting and stuff like that, I do have somebody else here giving me a quick hand who went running, running off to the store. And, uh, come on. Um, and we have found where one of the studs is that I can mount the cabinet to. Um, if you're wondering, the outlet box will go right about there, and there's the middle of the stud is right there. So anyways, I can't really tell, of course, but the bottom of the cabinet is going to be right there. And then there'll be a range hood above that, and then the stove is going to be all the way down there. But anyways, the microwave cabinet's going to go there. There'll be a plug right about there. Yada, 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 etc, etc, etc. Okay. I have elected to uh, cut it from the top and just tape it up because uh, 
there will be an outlet cover over it, so just because I'm lazy, don't feel like flipping it over, is probably a way to hold it up, I'm going to do it this way. Judge me all you want, I don't care. Works for me. If you're wondering, this outlet box is by the Home Depot. It's uh, considered an old work um, outlet box, and the idea is that you're adding an outlet box to old work. Um, and it has, depend, there's a couple of different ways to use it. Um, it has flaps, so you would stick it in your hole, turn the screw, and the flap will come up, and it would eventually, you know, work its way up the screw and hold up against the wall. There's one on the bottom too. And it also has you know, screw holes here, here, on all four corners, which will be how I'm end up using it. Because what I'll do is stick it in the cabinet, like so, make sure the wings aren't in the way, and, uh, you know, screw, 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 solid outlet. And if I wanted, I could even turn the little uh, wings and um, get it that way too. Next step is to hold this up against my wall. Trace that same hole from the cabinet onto the wall, then cut out the wall in the hole. Fish wire, etc., etc., mount cabinet. Thank you, sir. May I have another?